Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about how life is not meant to be like a virtual lot book. Now many people may not know what a lot book was, but in ancient times there were these books that were used for divination. You see this in the scripture where it talks about they cast lots. Well sometimes these lots were cast and then they would go to a certain page of a book or a certain part of a book. and that was supposed to be what they were supposed to do, whether they were poisoned or whether it would kind of reveal what was going on to them, or at least that's what they perceived. Now in modern times, people don't take that stuff seriously. They don't believe that, but that's what they say. In practice, they really do, but because they kind of act like life is that way and they approach whatever happens must be God's will or whatever happens must have been what was supposed to happen. But that fatalism, that mentality that whatever happens, that's just the way the lots fell and that's what you're supposed to go through in life, causes so many people to fail, so many people to be mediocre, so many people not to rise above and be overcomers. And this is taught almost universally. This doesn't even apply even to Christians as much as it applies to everyone. Even atheists have this kind of mentality. This, this is an overarching mentality that flows through the world that kind of whatever's happening is just what's supposed to happen anyway. You can't really change much of anything. Why even try? But my friend, I want to encourage you today that you should try. You should make every effort, not just try, because try oftentimes is just people's excuse for not really putting forth effort. You need to go forth and do the most you can. God's not the one putting stumbling blocks and walls and hurdles in your way. He just isn't. That's the fables, that's the mentality many people have. The same old mentality that used to cast lots. And that's basically the way they're approaching life. Whatever happens, oh, well, that must have been where the lots fell. And that's kind of the mentality many people are walking around with. And to some extent, that gives them some peace and some, some tranquility in being resignated to whatever happens must be God's will. Whatever it must be, must be, and that's all there is for me. But that mentality makes people miserable. How can you approach a loving God who you believe is the cause of everything going on around you? That's negative, that's hurting you, that's hindering you, that's keeping you back, that's hurting other people. You can't, not, not in any kind of sane state of consciousness, because you can't look to that and look to what's going on, look to circumstances as being God's will and yet still approach God and believe that he's loving and compassionate because so many circumstances are evil they're just plain evil and they're contrary to his stated will his plain will and you know that so you have to abandon this mentality that whatever's happening this lot book mentality that whatever happens that must have been what was supposed to happen sometimes things happen and because you've been in the bad vibration going against the things of God, you've put yourself in a position to experience certain things that you shouldn't have to experience. And you've chosen certain paths that have made you have to go through certain things. That doesn't make it God's will. That doesn't mean you're supposed to be there. Get back on the narrow path. Get back in the right vibration. Think those positive things, those things of good report, those things that are lovely, those things that are just. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on those things, my friend. Cast off all this old nonsense, this lot book mentality, this basically divination of whatever happens must be God's will. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't thought about this in a deeper way, Get my book, God's Secret Law of Attraction. It will be a blessing for you. Because I go through the scriptures and I show you how God has set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. And how you can choose life and blessing and cast off death and cursing. He's not the one forcing you. Whatever happens is not his will. He gives you plain choices you can make. And I show you in that book how to make the right choices and how to make those choices that are going to attract to you the best life possible. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.